What's up, world? How's everybody doing today, tonight, tomorrow? As I always say, whatever time, realm, dimension you're living in, I hope you're doing great, feeling blessed, no stress. Hopefully life's treating you good and you're not out there all mad because Trump pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement, realizing that until we learn to take care of things like, I don't know, particle colliders that could destroy the universe, uh, things being sprayed into our atmosphere every day, into our clouds that could probably just choke us out, and weather manipulation as far as heart goes and other things like that, that real climate change, that the Paris Agreement isn't going to do much for that. That 0 0.05 or whatever it is and billions of dollars ain't going to do nothing for that. So, that being said, the usual suspects are going to be out there fighting each other, chewing each other to pieces, pissed off at the world, mad, blah, blah, blah. Another distraction, another thing to get your focus off where it should be. So, if that's got you mad today, I'm apologizing to you. But, there's other things going on too. Uh, over in the Middle East right now, there is a new little cousin to CERN starting up. Uh, the Sesame Particle Collider. Yeah, like open sesame. Yeah, they don't make it hard, do they? Naming things sesame, like open sesame. They wonder why we look into things like we do, and we wonder the things we wonder. Like we really needed another particle collider, but bam, here it is. So it's going to bring meat peace to the Middle East, right? Particle colliding, the chance that the universe could be wiped out like that. Peace to the Middle East, right? Yeah, so that just opened up. Um, also, CERN... I guess uh, the LHC wasn't enough, so they're going to build on a an addition, another particle collider. It's going to be seven times more powerful, power, powerful, powerful. <laughs> I don't even know what that word is. Seven times more powerful. So, if the LHC wasn't bad enough, the fact that we could open up gateways and destroy the universe with it. Now we're going to have something even stronger than the Texas Particle Collider, which is hard to even fathom that they're going to create something that dangerous and that large. Uh, I'm guessing they couldn't keep the gateways to hell open long enough to get, you know, things in. So maybe they needed something stronger. They say it's going to take a while to build, but we know with D-Wave and other things probably planning everything out, they'll have it open in no time. They don't want to wait. Which leads me to the next concern. Bilderberg. Yeah, everybody's favorite time of year. Well, the names were released to who's being invited. And that's about all we'll probably learn about Bilderberg, unfortunately. We never learn much about it. We never get told what these manipulators, these directors and producers of our world talk about. This is the place they go to basically lay out what's going to happen next, who's going to be the leaders, who is going to be powerful, who is going to lose power, who is going to be the next false flag, whatever you name it. It goes on at Bilderberg. This is the place where these directors come together to figure out the next season of the NWO reality show. Hopefully, we don't get written out of next season. Yeah, hopefully that's not the spin that they decide to take our character off the show. I'm hoping we get to stay on the show this year. Uh, that'd be pretty sad. But one of the names on this, or the Bilderberg, uh, my kid, he calls them like the Build-A-Bear of demonic things. Like they take your soul and put it in a bear. I don't know. Maybe he's close. We, we have to wonder, though. They release the names, and they're releasing CERN was on the list. No scientific organizations get... Uh, invited to Bilderberg usually. This is one of the first. Other than Monsanto's, but they don't even count. And that was all about GMOs, and we know oh, that probably fits in with the uh, powers that be. But the fact that CERN has been invited to Bilderberg, you really have to wonder why. What's the reasoning for this? What is going on so drastically? Is it the new particle collider in the Middle East? Is it old particle collider? The LHC edition? Is it, you know, do they get to invite serpents from hell next time to Bilderberg? Which, I don't know, that might be, to, be an improvement from the people that are there right now. Um, the other thing I got to wondering is, you know, 
with all the stuff going on in Antarctica this past year and uh, the year before, all the leaders that have been going down there from Kerry to Obama to popes to other members of the Vatican, you name it, all these leaders have been going down to Antarctica for some reason. This is a place where all these countries come together. Uh, there's an agreement down there. Nobody can own it. Nobody can run things. But there's a lot going on down there. There is a particle collider down there, a very different particle collider. Um, we see these waves, these anomalies recently on these thermal maps, these weather maps and things coming from Antarctica. You have to wonder, is that coming from these particle colliders down there? These things are dug down into the ice, into the ocean. So they're doing all kinds of wacky stuff. We know CERN can affect uh, the atmosphere, the, the, the magnetosphere, all this kind of stuff. That CERN affects that. So why wouldn't this thing affect oceans and other things? You have to wonder, like these hunks the size of Delaware falling off Antarctica if it's not this particle collider's fault. But like I said, we see these waves coming off. We've seen all these leaders going down there. We've got the Paris Climate Agreement going on. Is there something, some kind of connection between Antarctica and the reason they're going? Or is it, like I said, the Middle East? Is it just the LHC and what they're doing there? Or is it the new LHC coming? We have to wonder, like I say, you've never seen CERN or people similar to him other than Monsanto's, but that's really not the scientific community showing up in an area like this uh, or to an event like this. I really have to wonder. I think we need to keep our eyes peeled. We need to look for every cookie, every crumb out there to give us some hints because, honestly, they don't tell us these things. Usually... We don't find out about events that probably went on in that Bilderberg until it's too late, until a false flag happens, until a new leader's voted in, or somebody's picked to be a new leader. It's an unfortunate thing, and it's unfortunate that we have our lives and all these events that we live are written in a place, in an event like this, that this is how the world goes on. Like I say, and I've said in a previous video, it's like a script being written out. It's a show, and unfortunately, we have to live in the show. So, why is CERN going? It's a big question. And to be with a group like Bilderberg, CERN, and these two together, that's very wor worrisome. And, and it keeps my mind racing, so... I don't know, folks. Keep your eyes open. Like I said, we got stuff coming for the giveaway here soon. Hopefully, I'm probably on the terrorist watch list, so it'll probably take a little bit for it to get here. Hopefully, it'll get here soon, and I'll get it to you guys. Always, thanks for all you guys do. And as always, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay incredible. See ya.